here in the black helping you achieve emotional financial emotional financial and physical well-being and helping you get over your uh, emotional shit with your parents so today's video is about dealing with the loss of a parent coping with the grief and a parent that you once had issues with now it's one thing when a parent dies and you guys have a good relationship that still hurts when a parent dies that you had conflict with either through your, your whole life or you know it, it happened or happened at some point it, the, their death is still going to affect you in some form or fashion now if they just cut your ass off and you're seeing them again well you know probably not as much but um it's going to it's going to have some effect on you you're a human being and, and especially speaking to most men on this we'll try to deny it so say it say won't bother us it will now do i have any personal experience with this no but from what I've been told throughout my life, when I was, you know, dealing with, dealing with my own mom stuff, I was from her brother, my uncle, um, a friend of mine, a girl, a girl I had a, you know, short, very short term relationship with in college who lost her father. Um, a lot of people. And they were like, look, man, like, I know it's your mom. And at that time, they understand, like, the the issues were, we, were the conflict that was between us. They said, yo, man, when she dies... You know, you're gonna be crushed. You're gonna be sad. And that time, so much anger. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's bullshit. It's dumb. But after a while, I was kind of like wised up and was like, I need to deal with this because I've gotten older now. Just I just just turned 32 uh, a couple days ago, and um, I um, realized that I need to deal with this. You know, like now because I don't want to have these issues evolve into something harder to deal with when it's like crap. They're not there anymore. So. If you're a person whose parent is dying right now, or they have passed away, what can I tell you to help you out? Seek some help. Get some coaching. I'll help you coach. Guidance, you know. Accept the fact that your your feelings are valid. There's nothing wrong how you feel. And then if it upsets you, makes you angry that the person is all around and you think well i'm glad that they're gone but you still get upset about it and get mad at all this and all the stuff that happened in the past it means you haven't dealt with it. it means it's still there it needs to come out it wants to come up now you may be happy that they're dead congratulations I mean, that's fine that's how you feel but if you're still upset if it still makes you angry if you're still have an emotional shadow boxing of arguments you've had in the past with them and stuff and it still bothers you you haven't dealt with it, and it's tougher now because they're no longer here so my advice to you is this, just deal with the emotions, get through because you're, all you're doing, that person's gone now, all you're doing is hurting yourself. And when it screws you up, you say, I'm gonna forgive them. They're dead, it doesn't matter anymore. What are you gonna do? Reach over to grip you on and bitch slap them? You can't, not that I know of, I've never seen any human being or heard of it, probably someone somewhere, but who knows? Write out a letter, start the process. You gotta start the healing process. You can be denied, whatever it is, you gotta start the healing process. And the easiest way to do it is start writing a letter. Write a letter of how you feel. Don't hold anything back. It'll write down all the things you wanna to say to them, you'd wanna say, I don't care if it's mean, nasty, love, whatever. Write it all out. Then, once you're done, fold it up three times away from you, rip it up, and you, you can burn it, which I like to do, or you can flush it on the toilet. Do as much time as you need. And also, as I always coach people, coach people through, simply Feel out the emotions, breathe deeply, and start the process. If you need to go to therapy, go to therapy. I'm telling you right now, they'll help you with the behaviors. I can help you at the core root issue with the emotional stuff that comes up. Because through your emotions is where your behaviors come from. So that's how we deal with stuff. That's human nature, okay? Almost at its core. So do that. Because I'm telling you, if you do not work on this stuff, if you still have issues with your parents, it's been fucking up your life in areas that you're not aware of. Issues, the, 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 the emotional problems we have with our parents... It's not something that 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 gets compart, you know. It 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 does not compartmentalize or stay in one area of your life. It bleeds out into everything else. So you can have relationships, you can make the money and stuff, but everything everything will come at a price to you, and it's not a price that you want. Or if you're, or you may not be aware of it, but look at your life, look at the results you have. You know, your parents are your foundation. If you don't have that foundation, is jacked up for the rest of your life. It's very hard to have more success, create life you want. If you're, if you're still holding on to some bullshit that you have not resolved for every reason. So I'm telling you, it's okay how you feel. It's okay to admit that like, yo, their death really has impacted you. That you're feeling hurt, angry, probably think, fuck them, I'm glad they're dead. Acknowledge those feelings. 
If your parents really jacked up, abused you and shit, I would imagine you'd feel happy that they're gone. Then your boss probably feel sad. You might go back and forth. Your human being is how you deal with it because you have all the stuff that needs to come up. Do not deny how you feel. Do not resist how you feel. Accept this for what it is and just simply breathe through the process. I'm coaching some stuff to help you out. Like I said, sorry. Hey, it's a business I run, but hey, it's sales, but I'm here to help and you know get you through these things because it helps to have someone on your side in your course is look, you're okay, go for it. Because life will throw shit at you that you could be on this path, you're feeling great, you feel motivated, and life is wow, it'll be emotional punch to the gut, as I say, you know. And it just throws knocks at your steam. You're just like, what am I doing? So what happens? So I mean, I know from experience what this is, but I can only imagine how people feel. I have people tell me that they wish they had their their parents around. Uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer talked about it with, um, he had dad issues, and after his father was, had passed away, it got worse. But for whatever reason, he was told to get a higher sign, <clears throat> excuse me, a sign from a higher power to go to his grave. And I forget exactly what happened to him, but at that point, he was able to come to terms with what happened with him and his father and forgive him, let go. Like, you got to learn. You got to get to the point where you can forgive them and let go. It helps you out. As long as it as benefits you, not them. Because you, you holding on to their shit is only poisoning yourself. And it's true. I kid you not. So, I'm in this long video. I hope this helps. Let me, let me know what you think in uh, comments below. If you want help with getting through this, I am open for coaching. We'll do a free coaching session and say, hey, if you want to do this, let's go. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. You know, hey. But reach out to me. Put a number up here. 240-418-2646. Again, 240 240- 418-2646, my friend. And I got a newsletter. It's in the bottom, in the description. Sign for that. When you do that, excuse me, this bottom comes kind of sticky. If you sign up for a newsletter, I'll give you a free coaching session, okay? As so well as I have stuff that goes out. So, love y'all. Get in the black. Hey, you got this. Life will go on. You can heal. You can become, you know, happier. And just get back to a place of like, yeah, I can do this. And learn from it, you know. There's always something value, valuable something of value you can take away from any situation. Regardless of how bad it seems, there's something that you can find that you, that you can use to your own advantage. As far as what that is, I don't know, because each situation is different. You may not see it at the moment. You may not see it right away. You may not see it for two years. But when you look back and you find something, you're glad you did. Most people don't. Take advantage of that. Love y'all. Peace.